Hi everyone, I thought I'd share a little tutorial on how I built an activation key service for Shopify for essentially zero dollars. You have a Shopify store in which you want to sell digital products that need an activation key. This is a development store. So the first thing uh, you'd want to do instead of uh, just going ahead and using your existing Shopify store with digital products, go on partnersshopify.com, sign up and add a development store. Uh, once that's up and running, access the store and see that it's provisioned and working. Create a product, yes, any product will do, except you will probably want to make this product a non-physical product. Here in the details, just unclick this so that you're not getting any shipments and fulfillments and so on because this is all a digital product. Once you have this product in place, in your Shopify dev store, you'll want to create a new application. So go on settings, app sales and channels and click develop apps. In develop apps, you would want to create a new development application. I already have one created here that will allow me to do the activation key updating for every one of my orders. In configuration, you'd need to edit your admin API integration to allow for write orders and read orders scopes. Uh, you can find them here. Just uh, make sure that write orders and read orders are enabled. Then back in API credentials, create an access token that you could use this API to start editing your orders from an API. So you're probably wondering why you would want to do this in the first place. Well, there are plenty of Shopify applications that allow you to do license keys and so on. You should just go on the app store and search for license key and you'll find a whole lot of applications that allow this. But if you check out the pricing, you'll see that even the cheapest ones like this one, for example, they will charge you at least 10 bucks a month for this service of just providing license keys and a few other services and for something that's independent and a little smaller scale you may not want to pay this sort of monthly fee for something that you can build yourself with just a few minutes we have our store set up we have our product set up and we have our app set up and the next thing to do would be to set up two things you would want to make a web hook so whenever someone goes on your store and clicks a product and makes up an order like this one, I only want one and I will click buy it now. And then I'm going to the checkout screen where I can put in my email and my, my details. As soon as I click complete orders and this is free and I don't have to make any payments, I will have an order created. Shopify will be able to notify our small serverless application whenever an order is created so we can attach the key to it. This is accessed through settings, notifications, and in notifications, you will find webhooks. In webhooks, you'll want to create a webhook for your order creation. On here, you would select order creation and then set up the URL, which we don't have yet, but that's where we would set up the webhook. To get started with creating a service that will provision and also be able to check our license keys for every one of these orders that are created, we're going to use the serverless framework. I really like this framework for building very, very quick and easy serverless applications that don't need a lot of scaling or a lot of attention on your cloud provider. You just need to script your serverless application and deploy it, and then you're basically up and running. Let's take a look at the code. This would be the serverless YAML. This is the serverless recipe, essentially, for everything we need for our license key activation service. We're going to use AWS as our provider. So make sure that in your console, you are able to authenticate with AWS. So you would need the AWS CLI and just make sure that your AWS account and credentials are set up on your computer locally. So that serverless would just use those. Once you have your AWS prepared, you could use serverless to start deploying services that we can access then as a webhook or otherwise. We set up here a very simple service that only has two endpoints, two Lambda functions and two endpoints. One for the order create webhook that Shopify will call and one for checking the activation key. Our webhook will create the activation key and attach it to the order and the check activation key will be called by your application looking to activate and to check if this activation key that was given to the customer is correct and verified. 
You may at some point want to add some more functionality in here, like updating and deleting activation keys. But these are basic two functions, one for the webhook and one for the checking of the activation key. We would use an DynamoDB table on AWS that has one attribute, which is just the activation key. Later on, as we add more things into the table, they will be indexed by the activation key. But in this recipe, you don't need to mention that. This script will be available to you as a gist in the video notes. We will need to set up some environment variables like the Dynamo DB table name so that our two Lambda functions can access that. We will also need a shop ID and access token that we got from Shopify. So the access token, you will get that from your development app that you created. Just make sure you save that because you'll ne never be able to see that again. And your store ID, you can get that from the URL in Chrome. In this case, this is my store ID. You would not want to save these directly in here in code. You'd like to have a .env file storing this secret information and then just use .env true to load these up for serverless that will then serve these environment variables to each of the functions. So we need the shop ID and the access token. Starting with the webhook, we're going to create an order create Shopify webhook with order create as the handler. And looking at the handler code, starting from the endpoint, we eventually are going to have one single function that is going to handle this order create event as it comes in. This is in JavaScript. You can do this in Python as well. It's very similar. The order create event, except for some logging, is going to get some things from the header, like the X Shopify order ID that Shopify will supply for each one of these webhook calls and get that as the order ID, we're going to just generate a UID v4 for the activation key. And then we're going to update the Shopify order with this key. That's very simple using the admin API. You're just going to edit the order ID with a put request and adding a meta field for the activation key. In the body, you would have order with the order ID and the meta fields with the keys activation key and the value as the argument for this function as a single line text field. Once this has run at least once, you'll be able to go on your Shopify Shopify store custom data and you'll see that under orders you will now have this new meta field called activation key and you can set this up to be a little fancy but you don't have to this will update our Shopify order on the store with the activation key as soon as the order is created if we complete this as the customer and complete the order that's actually going to show up in our activation service and the logs here will show that we updated the Shopify order with the activation key for this new order you can access the logs by using service serverless logs, but that is only after you deploy with serverless deploy. And this is essentially all we need for our webhook is just updating the Shopify order with a meta field that has this UUID activation key that we just made up on the fly here. The next step will be to save this key in a database so that when we're fetching it or checking it through the application, we will want to know if this is a valid key or not. For this, we would use DynamoDB. We'll set up a new activation key object here that has our table index, which is called activation key, and then the order ID. That's pretty much all we need. Calling the DynamoDB here a put operation on the table name that's coming in through our environment variable with the new item that has our index for the activation key and the ID for the order ID. Running that over DynamoDB will register that in the database. All right, so now that our webhook is up and running, after we have deployed using serverless deploy, we can take a look at the logs and see things are running. We'll see that each one of our orders is now augmented with this activation key. But how do we show that to the customer? That's a good question. I found a way that's again, not using any sort of application or any sort of thing you need to install or pay for. In this case, we would be customizing our checkout page. Under settings checkout, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see that the order status page, which is what the customer gets as a thank you message, but also after they get the email and they can view their order again, they will get this page that you can customize and augment. Scrolling down to order status page under checkout customization, we can add a tracking script. But since our order is already filled with a meta field for our activation key, all we need to do in this script here is say, is the activation key already provisioned or is it still being created? Because there's going to be some lag between the webhook and the customer going on our page. We will need to check if the activation key is empty just by equating that to an empty string. And if it's empty, you can notify the customer saying your activation key has been created. Please refresh in a few minutes to see your activation key. Really takes about three or four seconds. Otherwise, if the activation key is there, you can just show it to the customer on the page. 
make sure to use Shopify's add content box so that your content shows up nice and well designed. So we have completed this order. We know that our order now has the activation key already attached to it. And we can verify by taking a look at the order on Shopify. And you'll see that you get a meta field with your activation key here. The order is already augmented with the activation key. So in fact, now the customer would refresh this page and the activation key will pop up. Here's the activation key. At the same time, since it's a digital download, you can also provide your customer with where they would download the software, like links or anything else that you would need. And you can customize all of that through settings, checkout, scroll to the bottom, an additional script. You could add any sort of additional information that you would need to show to the customer in here. The last bit of this would be checking if the activation key is valid. That's another very short Lambda function that could be provisioned through serverless. In this case, my handler check activation key will receive an event from Lambda with a query string parameter of the key and we'll get that as the activation key to check. We can go on the DynamoDB and see if that key exists. If it doesn't, we can say it's an invalid key, but if it does, we can go back on Shopify some details from the order, like the product ID, product name, customer name, anything that application would need to work with this activation key to verify it or maybe to show back to the customer. In this case, we would respond with 200 and we'll respond with the order details. So let's take this activation key and go on our activation key checking service here. It's called check activation key. And once we run this request, you see that we're getting the proper information like the product ID, product name, customer name. So there you have it, a very, very simple activation key service for Shopify. You didn't need to install any sort of applications that cost anything. The cost of running these services is very, very low under AWS's free tier. The Lambda functions are only going to run every now and then when your application starting and it's checking for the activation key or if someone places an order. Even at a high volume, you're probably going to stay way below the marks for the free tier for AWS. So check out this method for adding an activation key to your Shopify store. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.